Okay, let's go ahead and tackle this problem, and we're going to solve it without a calculator. Now, this might uh, seem kind of optional. I'll be like, well, you're not going to use a calculator? Why not just use a calculator? Well, uh, if you're taking any kind of course, let's say Algebra 2, College Algebra, uh, pre-calculus, anything along those lines and you're studying logarithms, there's going to be parts of your test and quiz. Um, I'm certain that your teacher is going to say, put your calculator away. You're not going to be able to do it. They're going to want you to solve this without a calculator. Very, very common type of problem. Not that difficult, but one that you certainly need to understand. And uh, the topic here is what? What is this LOG? Well, we're talking about logarithms. So specifically, this problem is log base 2 of 1 eighth. What is this equal to? Not that difficult of a problem. So if you're, you know, looking at this, you're like, I have no idea what to do. Well, stick around for a couple minutes. You'll walk, you'll walk away knowing exactly what to do here. And it's, uh, again, very, very important that you understand uh, how to work with logarithms without a calculator at these uh, levels, at this level of mathematics. So I'm going to get into all this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything else in between. So if you're obviously in middle school, high school, or college um, uh, level mathematics, taking any kind of course, I can certainly help you out. If you're taking an exam and it has math on it, so for example, the GED, SAT, ACT, ACUPLACE, or CLEP exam, the teacher certification exam, ASVAB, you get, the, you get the idea. There's a lot of exams out there that people have to take, and uh, there's often a math section that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, have a great homeschool math curriculum. Now, if you don't have math notes, you can use my math notes. I'm going to leave uh, links to my math notes in the description of this video. But hopefully you have great math notes. Okay, You don't need my math notes. Um, over decades of teaching math, it's just one thing that's apparent to me. Those students who take great math notes almost always do excellent. So if you're struggling in math, make sure you are taking excellent math notes. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and pause the video and try this problem, I think that would be a good use of uh, this video if you're going to watch the whole thing. But it's not that difficult of a problem, and I'm going to get into it right now. Okay, so this is what we need to understand first. So I'm going to kind of scroll up here. I don't want to show you the full solution yet, but we need to understand how uh, the relationship between logarithms and exponential functions. So we have this right here, log base 2 of 1 eighth. We need to rewrite this, okay, differently. We have to write this as an exponential uh, equation, okay? And we're going to do that here in just one second. So in order to do that, you need to understand when you're looking at a logarithmic expression, a logarithmic function, what does it mean? Well, this log, L-O-G, this small number down here, and that would relate to our 2, is the base this big number right here, which is the uh, 1 eighth in this case, is the answer. And then it's going to be equal to this e, which is the exponent that we apply to this base. So I can rewrite this logarithm, okay, uh, this way. Okay, this is the equivalent exponential uh, function here. It's the base, okay, to this exponent right there. That little e is equal to the answer right there. Okay, so you need to understand this. And uh, there's a little saying that I use when I teach this in my uh, courses, bacon and eggs, log B-A-E, it's always B-A and then E, bacon and eggs. So if you need a little uh, way to uh, remember this, there you go. Okay, bacon and eggs, base, answer, E. So it's pretty easy. Oh, okay, the base right, is right here, the E is the exponent, and that is equal to the answer. All right, so if you understand that, then... That's the first part of this problem. So let's go ahead and rewrite this logarithm, okay, as an exponential uh, function. And you can see here that I've already done it, or act actually as an exponential equation. So the base is 2, okay, you can see here I have 2. Now the exponent here is going to be x, right? We're, we don't know what that is equal to, so this is what the exponent is. So it's 2 to the x, right, base to the exponent. And then this 1 eighth is our answer, right? So if you see this, or if you understand how this uh, is being set up, well, then you are on your way to figuring this out, okay? So here is what we need to figure out. We have 2 uh, to the x power is equal to 1 eighth. So now some of you are like, wow, okay, what do I do here? 
All right. Well, let me go ahead and show you. When you're in um, one of these classes, you know, uh, pre-calculus, college algebra, algebra two, and you're dealing with these type of problems without your calculator, you need to try to get all the numbers in the same base. So here I have base two, and these problems typically are pretty similar. Okay, so it could be base two, you can be dealing with base three, but it's gonna be some sort of number you can um, uh, do without a calculator. So what you wanna do is put everything in terms of the same base. So here I have two, here I have eight. So any number or value you have in these equations, try to rewrite this in terms of a, uh, of a power that has this base. Try to have them, in other words, you wanna have all uh, everything in a common power. So here I have two to the x, Okay, two to the x power, but I'm looking at eight. So I'm thinking, hmm, can I write uh, eight in terms of two? Well, of course you can, because uh, eight is two times two times two, or two cubed. Okay, so you really want to uh, write this equivalent problem as uh, two to the x uh, is equal to one over two cubed. That's going to be the secret here to solving this problem. So this is what you want to do. Okay, so if you can recognize, all right, I'm dealing with this base. Uh, let me see, I have this number, I can write this in terms of that same base, okay, 2 cubed. Now, we just need to know our algebra. So we have 2 to the x power is equal to 1 over 2 cubed. Remember, there's this lovely little property of exponents. It's a to the n is equal to 1, uh, a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the n. You need to know how to deal with positive and negative exponents, specifically negative exponents. But here I have 1 over 2 cubed. I can rewrite this. I want to kind of match this, right? I have two to the X. I would love to have two to some number because whatever this is, these are exactly the same. If whatever X is, whatever this number is right here, that's gonna be the answer, okay? Uh, so uh, I have a, this written as a uh, fraction, one over two cubed. So let's rewrite this such that, whoops, oh, hold on, let me do that, uh, such that we can get the bases the same. So I'm gonna move this up and when I do that, the power okay, goes from positive to negative. So 2 to the x is equal to 2 to the negative uh, 3. Okay, now you can see now this is exactly the same, 2 and 2. So if I'm saying 2 to some power x is equal to 2 to the negative 3, it's pretty obvious that x must be equal to negative 3. And this is the solution. Okay, So again... At this uh, level of mathematics, uh, you know, you sh this right here is just basic algebra. Uh, figure out what is giving you trouble. If it's working with positive and negative exponents, you know, go back and review that. Of course, I have videos on all of this in my um, uh, algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. Or maybe you just want to check out, like, my Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus course, whatever the case might be, to really, really learn all of this and much, much more. But uh, that is how you solve these type of problems, okay? Again... Once you write your logarithm as an exponential equation, you need to get everything in the same base, all right? That's the key, all right? And then once you have that, then you're going to basically use this kind of approach to figure out what uh, uh, this is equal to. Now, there's other varieties of logarithmic uh, problems that uh, go much, much beyond uh, this. I would say this is a pretty easy problem, but you know, if you didn't understand this, now you do, hopefully. And if that is the case, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced mathematics, and I'm posting new stuff all the time. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way, really explain it in a non-textbook way and a way that I think that I would understand it when I you know, was learning this. You know, sometimes, we, you know, if your teacher is um, teaching in a way you don't understand, what you need to do is ask questions first, okay, because you, your teacher is trying to teach you. So try to communicate with your teacher. Say, hey, I don't understand this. Let Give them an opportunity to explain this, uh, explain, uh, you know, everything in more detail to you. But if you need more help beyond that, Nowadays, there's absolutely no excuse. There's so many different teachers out there. Of course, I have my own uh, way of teaching, but find a teacher that you can understand. All right. Now, if you like my teaching style, well, then I have tons of content on my my channel. I'm going to be posting new stuff um, as time goes on because I'm obsessed with teaching mathematics. But my best math help will be within my uh, math help program. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.